everybody. Welcome back to today's Seniors Living Well. Um, our theme this seventh series is Fit and Safe. And one safe way to travel around Amador County is the Dial-A-Ride program that Robin Valencia just talked about. And we saw a little clip featuring this lovely lady, my next guest. Peach, thank you for coming on today. Oh, my pleasure. How long have you lived here in Amador County? The better part of 20 years. Aha. Uh -huh. And where were you before that? Uh, Lake Havasu City. Oh, wow. Down in the mm -hmm. south there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you moved up here, you had retired from your job, jobs? Yes. What yes. kind of What kind yes. of work did you do? Before coming here, uh, I had a shop, in, a beauty shop. In, a beauty shop? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. in Florida. Oh, my goodness. Sarasota, yeah. Well, you're a well-traveled lady, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so how did you settle on Amador County? A friend of mine. <clears throat> There's a little water there if you need a sip. Uh, um, So yeah, <laughs> uh, a friend of yours. Back many years ago, I lived down in the southern part of California in Ventura, mm -hmm. and a good friend of mine moved up in this area, mm -hmm. and got in touch with me and said, uh -huh. "You got to come here." Oh, God's uh, country! Come on yeah, out. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and so I did. Uh -huh. And I lived with her for a little short, short period of time until uh -huh. I found a place to live in Jackson. Uh huh. And so you live here in Jackson now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um. Were you driving when you moved up here? No. 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 So, I haven't driven in quite a few years. Uh huh. Uh, I developed some, a sort of um, space in motion problem. Oh, well, that does make it dangerous. Yeah, so to I, drive. I hung it up. Oh, bless uh -huh. your heart. Yeah. Bless your heart. So I suspect when you moved up here, if it was 20 years ago, mm -hmm. we didn't have nearly the kind of transportation services back then that we do now. Well, that's true, but. Where I lived at the time, uh, we had the uh, shuttle. Oh, you did? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. and, and, and I was much more active, so, uh -huh. you know, uh, it worked fine. Mm -hmm. This time, when I came back in uh -huh. um, 2010, uh -huh. um, I realized where I moved to, mm -hmm. I couldn't get out. I oh. had to have somebody take me. Take you. Uh -huh. And that was hard uh -huh. uh, for me. So did you, like... Ask friends to drive you around and stuff? Of yeah. course, and, sure. and, and then one day I was at the senior center uh -huh. and the buzz was, we're getting Dollar Ride. Uh -huh. And I was familiar with Dollar Ride from other places. Uh -huh. I couldn't believe my luck. And yeah. I, I was you like, like, like oh. handing me a, a, an independence flag. <laughs> oh, you that's know? wonderful. Yeah. yeah. I was thrilled to death. Oh, that's and it's turned out to be a godsend. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you've made some friends. Oh, riding, yeah. Uh -huh. riding a ride. Oh, many, yeah. sure. Yeah. And yeah, I, no, I just think it's the most wonderful thing. And uh, ha and tell us how you use it now. What, what do you use Dial Ride for now? Oh goodness, go to market, mm -hmm. go to doctor, mm -hmm. uh, just a senior center. Come come to the senior center. Yeah. And well, uh, the thing, yeah, it get, it lets you go. You know, participate. Uh -huh. The yarn, we've just gotten Joanne's and, uh, oh, you know, yeah. yeah, I was in line, first on first door, because um, I knit and bead and things like that. Oh, uh-huh. See, so, uh, no, it's all here. That's great. And, and dial ride gets me there. dial ride gets you there. So, um, you said you knit and you do beading. Um, what other kinds of activities make you such a happy, healthy, retired person? Do you cards. Cards? Yeah, like, yeah I, I go to friends' houses and play cards. They come uh -huh. and get me, and, uh -huh. or I go and dial a ride. Uh -huh. you know, either way, and, uh, and we play cards. What kind of cards do you like? Well, we, we have a game called Spite and Malice. Oh, yeah, my grandma used to play that. Yeah, remember, it's yeah. a good game. Yeah. And so we play that. Uh -huh. and, and, uh, and you do come for bingo at the oh, definitely. senior center? Yeah, yeah. yeah. one of yeah. our main bingo yeah, Absolutely. Uh -huh. So yeah, it, 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 you're just not stuck. Like right. before, right. I spent way too much time by myself uh -huh. until uh, we got Dollar Ride, got really. Dollar Ride or somebody had to come and get me, right. which which is okay. I like to go to a card game or something, mm -hmm. but um, to have to ask all the time is really difficult. Stressful, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. But and and I suspect that you are a person that had a lot of friends and contacts, but that doesn't really make it easier to no, rely because on they have a life too. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and sometimes you you need uh, somebody now. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. 
even our cab, our cab, uh, that was rather funny. I, I needed an onion. I was making something, and I called a cab, cab company before Dollar Ride. Oh. And, and, and the lady said, you should have called yesterday. I said, but I didn't need an onion yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was so, I, I write to my friends in Sarasota and tell them about this quaint little area, you know, and they think I'm making yeah. it up. Oh, no, you can't make this stuff up. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, I just love this town. Oh yeah, it's it's a wonderful place. It is. To live, it isn't is. It? And um, do you go to any exercise classes or anything? Or? Not anymore. I no. did. Because but I, I was yeah. commenting. I don't know. Any of you that have been here to TSPN know that to get up to the studio, it's this like steep stairway. Yeah. Peach was like ahead of me, going. If I have a railing, I can go quickly, and she did, man. She just zipped and yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. As long as there's something to touch. Uh huh. You know, uh -huh. I don't really need to hang on. I just yeah. need to something to keep yourself. Or, I guess, yeah. yeah. So how do you how do you stay so fit? Well, I have a a couple of a little deck where I live, uh -huh. and and I have a couple of machines. Oh my goodness! And mm -hmm. and I use them every day. Your own, yeah, you know, little yeah. gym there. Yeah, great. Not, not much of one, and I'm not as good as I should be, but oh. but I try to do something every day. Uh huh. You know, and then I live in a townhouse, so there's stairwell. Oh, so see? you have to go. So I I use that downstairs. too. Yeah. Uh, as, a, as an exercise, uh -huh. you know. That's great. And, yeah. That's great. So, Do you uh, have family around? No. Mm -hmm. No, my daughter and son one uh, are in Florida, mm -hmm. and then I have another son in Ventura. Oh, so South. pretty spread out. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I go down there uh -huh. or, or do, as often as I can. Mm -hmm. I like to go on the, on the train. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah it, uh, it gets me to Ventura. And uh, it gets me to Oxnard nearby, uh -huh, uh -huh. and uh, I just like the train. Well, you're the poster girl for public transportation, aren't I you? Am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am. Well, that's and, true. And I think a lot of people who like, I mean, I lived in Oakland for in San Francisco, and I so I got very familiar with buses and trains and stuff. But a lot of people are afraid to use public transit, but. It's it's a very fun, safe way to travel, isn't it? Oh, wonderfully way. And, and, and there's an observation car, and you can go in there and and I knit on uh -huh. the train, on the train, and uh -huh. and see all the just beautiful state. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. really it's a wonderful ride. That one goes like down the coast, down the coast, uh, yeah. pretty much, and then yeah. and then uh, into. to Oxnard, uh -huh. you know, comes in, uh -huh. but uh, it's a very long drive ride. Because I, I didn't understand about trains, the passenger trains, mm -hmm. they have to give precedence to the freight. Oh, so So they have to move to, over and, and oh, let the freight train go through. So you stop, by. start, oh, stop, start. Yeah. See? So it takes a lot longer. Yeah. But if you're not driving, you're just And you just meet looking. wonderful people. I'll bet you've you had do. some you interesting really experiences, yeah. too. Do you tell yeah. people how great Amador is and they should come up and visit? I do. Visit? <laughs> You one of our tourism people. Yeah, like my one of my friends says, don't keep telling people about Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to build a wall. We, we yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't until we started getting enough people that would use services like Dialeride that that we were really able to make a point, a case for having something as wonderful I, as oh, Dialeride. I suppose you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, you know, I've been at the senior center for 27 years. Mm -hmm. And we were always talking about transportation and when would we get dial right and and then when it came into being, it was like, oh, finally. And then people weren't using it very much. And then I think yeah. one person would tell two people and two, how easy it was mm -hmm. and how you know you just pick up the phone and the instructions mm -hmm. are clear and, and the, door to door, door to door. Yeah, well, my goodness, it it just it makes your whole world different. Now, if you were to go to Joanne, say, to shop for Christmas crafts, mm -hmm. um, you take dial -a ride mm -hmm. and the dial -a ride driver doesn't wait there for no, you. No, no, no. So how does that work? You book it. Oh, uh-huh. Uh, you know, with, with uh, the dispatcher. Uh-huh. They ask you, how much time do you need? Oh, how much time do you need? Approximately. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And I always give myself an extra 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. And, uh, but it works. It works fine. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Because I know um, there's a bunch of folks that use dial ride um, to come to Bingo and to Bunko on some mm -hmm, of the Mondays. Mm -hmm. And um, it always seems like they get picked up pretty promptly. They do. Like 
They do. The driver knows when to mm -hmm. come back. Well, and, and they do. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, like for bingo, uh -huh. um, they've got a 15 minute, I think it's 30 now, but it used to be 15 uh -huh. minute either way. Uh -huh. And um, uh, bingo is usually through at 320. About, about 320, 330. About. Yeah. So yeah. either the driver is right there waiting or uh -huh. he's going to be there in the next 15 minutes. Uh huh. Yeah, it never seems like anybody. No, unless I mean, occasionally there'll be. A, oh, there's been a, a glitch an here and there or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but well, that's wonderful. Yeah, it is. A, it's a good program. Very good. And it's real easy to call up. Oh, somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now you're just kind of footloose and fancy free in Amador County and all the way down to Ventura, huh? That's true. Are that's you going true. to Ventura for Christmas? No, no. I'm going to a friend here in in Sutter Creek. Oh. Oh, and uh, okay. we're, we're five women that uh, are on our own. Uh -huh. So we're all meeting at one person's house. We're all making something. Uh -huh. and oh, this is for Thanksgiving? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Great. Yeah. Great. Well, yeah. you're a great role model for someone who didn't let their inability to drive stop them from being a really active human being. Well, for one thing, I could... It seemed, it's hard for me. I don't know what happened between 65 and 90, you know. Uh -huh. I, I don't know what happened that time. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm 90. You're 90? I'll be 91 in oh another God. 10 days. Isn't that amazing? Say, for somebody who's over 80, you're really active. Did you hear that? No, When's it, your birthday? December 16th. December yeah. 16th. 10 days. So on December 16th, everybody... Raise a glass of whatever you're oh, drinking yes. and salute Peach. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> because she really is a fantastic role model for what we're, what we're striving to have seniors. Thank you so much for coming I, in today. And thank you for having me. It's been a delight. It, it's been fun. Good. Yeah. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to have um, a guest from Sutter Amateur Hospital going to be talking about one of the new programs at Sutter Amateur.